Coach Osborne was a very, very special guy when he's always had thoughts of doing things more than just on the field. He's been a mentor to a tremendous uh, amount of people. My 18th birthday, I was a freshman at University of Minnesota. Nebraska was the number two team in the country, and I got my first start uh, as a college player at Minnesota against Nebraska. They beat us 49 to seven, so it wasn't a pleasant birthday. But I fast forward uh, to my first uh, year in the NFL as a coach, and I'm now coaching and scouting for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I go into the University of Nebraska to look at their senior players. And Tom Osborne is there uh, you know, running the day and, and helping us out. And I got a chance to really look at him up close and personal. And as a young coach, to see Tom Osborne, the way he conducted himself, the way he, you could tell that he just cared about his players. He led in a way that he's trying to make them better, trying to help them as people and not just as players. And for me, as a young 26-year-old coach, I could really point to that and say, that's the way I want to do it. I want to be like this guy, who not only turns out good players, but turns out good people. Because of the fact that he was successful, and I could look at that and say, you know, you don't have to be a guy who curses, you don't have to be a guy who's in players' faces all the time. You can command respect by the type of person you are, uh, but still have the respect of your players and be successful. Uh, that was important, and that, that's what I tried to do, and I wanted to demonstrate that to other people, that you could lead in a, a very calm, quiet, respectful way, but still lead well.